haven't made a YouTube video in a long, 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 long time. I got in trouble by my dad. I talked back to him. So YouTube and Instagram were taken away for two weeks. I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm a kid. Stuff like that happens. So for this video, I'm going to be talking about my beauty slash some life hacks. Yeah, I just wanna say that if if this angle is crooked, that is because I have this ghetto tripod issue. I have a nightstand with a basket, with three magazines, two boxes, and four books. And then my camera, so that's my tripod. And I have a ghetto phone, so, hmm, score! I'm in my mom's room, by the way, because there's always good lighting, so I'm like, ah, mom, get out, I'm gonna film in here. So, let's get started on these beauty hacks. Let's go. My first tip is a low ponytail. I know, like, ew, sage, like, low ponytail? That's disgusting, like, no one wears that. Well, I wear a low ponytail if my hair, like, if I'll take a shower and I wanna, like, straighten my hair the next day, I, like, part my hair, like, my normal part, and then I put it in a slick back low ponytail like this, and then I go to bed, and so I'll wake up and my hair is like in the same part because when I sleep, I'm a heavy sleeper and I roll around everywhere. My hair like ends up like a frizz ball and it's like, I have like a giant like lump in my hair. It's not cute. So having a little ponytail, it makes sure that it secures my hair and makes sure, make sure, make sure, I make sure everything is in its place for what I want to do my hair. Eyeshadow for your eyebrows. I know that's pretty basic, like everyone does that, but I'm dead serious. Instead of spending money on another beauty product and you're on a budget, might as well just use a brown eyeshadow that you already have. I use my Naked Basics palette. I use, mm, it's like a light brown and then a little, it's like Naked 2 and Faint. I use two of those and I mix them together and I lightly do my eyebrows. I'm not, I have no eyebrow stuff on, so. Ugh. When I do, my eyebrows are on late. Making sure your foundation is blended down your neck. I know that's kind of like a basic again, but honestly, there is a tip for you. I got this tip from my friend Samantha, so hey Samantha, if you're watching this, probably not. But it's when you go like this, you make a double chin and you blend it down your neck. So just to ensure that your makeup is all blended and you look good and not not good. <laughs> Wearing chapstick at night really helps. I know a lot of people do that. I mean, like most people wear chapstick at night, but it seriously helps. Like, if you have really chapped lips, I really recommend Vaseline. Vaseline is like my favorite. It seriously, like, you, like, most people just put on lips. I put it all around, like, literally up to my nose and, like, down here, like, all over my mouth. And it honestly, like, I'll wake up the next day and it's still on and moisturized. It's 100% more moisturized. So, seriously, no one likes chapped lips, so make sure you wear it while you're sleeping and during the day. And also, keeping your chapstick with you at all times. Enough said. Use your eyeshadow as a root cover up thing. If you have gray hair, most of my viewers don't have gray hair, but... If you're watching this and you have gray hair, use a darker or your color hair eyeshadow. It probably won't work if you have like really blonde hair. I've noticed because I tried this and it didn't really work on me, but I did dye my hair a little bit darker. So if you have darker hair and you have roots that you don't like or just any roots at all, use it as a root cover up. Use your eyeshadow with the eyeshadow brush and just like go over it and um, it will really work. Also, what I do is if my roots are like black, or not brown, black, but like dark brown, you got it. I will use a brown eyeshadow and I'll blend it so it looks like it's like supposed to be like that. That's what I did when my hair was like platinum with dark, 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 dark brown roots. I did that. And also, if your hair is really thin, you can use eyeshadow and you like put it on like your scalpy, and like that on your scalp and it will make your hair look fuller and not so thin. If you have oily hair or you didn't take a shower and you're running out the door, put some water on the area like your roots and it will 
take away the oils a little bit. I don't know if it'll take away for like all of it, but it'll definitely make it look not, sorry, there's like drapes and they're just getting in the way. I don't know if it will take away it like fully, which it probably won't, but using it like, I don't know, you get the point. Put water on your hair, your hair's all up. You got it, sunscreen. Sunscreen is a 100% must. A lot of people that I know are like, ew, sunscreen, no, I don't know why I'm not wearing sunscreen because then I won't get tan. Well, if you don't wear sunscreen, you'll get skin cancer, like my mom. My mom had skin cancer, now she has a scar on her like this big. So if you do want to tan, just use a self tanner because sunscreen will save your life from the sun rays and the sky. Wear sunscreen. Plus, you'll get dark spots on your skin when you're older and you do not want that. You want clear, healthy skin. No one, no one wants dark spots. Do yourself a favor and wear sunscreen. Yeah. Da -da Do you hear that burn? Always make sure you have a lint roller in your car or honestly anywhere. I like to have a lint roller in my car because if I'm running out the house and I have dogs and they get fur everywhere. So on my clothes, I'll be running out the door. I'm like, oh yeah, make sure you use the lint roller. I forget, run in the car. Oh my gosh, I forgot to take all the hair off my legs. I remember there's a lint roller in the car because no one likes this is one of my pet peeves, is when I get hair all over my leggings. So annoying. And my last beauty secret is, well, I use this when I straighten my hair. So what I do is I get my straightener. I use the Numi's hair straightener. And I have another one at my dad's house. It's from like CVS. I straighten my hair, and then with my hairbrush, also, I get my hairbrush, right? I brush my hair, then with my straightener, I go over. And so it just leaves really smooth and really easy, like super easy to straighten. So, another tip. I hope you guys enjoyed this beauty hacks video. And stay tuned for more videos. Bye!